Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. I am working on a 2016 Nissan Rogue. I want to illustrate, I want to demonstrate something for you. So when I get in the car and I start the car, here's what happens. All my lights come on, go off. Okay? Except my seat buckle, but I didn't buckle up. And you can see my traction light has came on and it stays on, all right? So I went ahead and uh, I put a scan tool on the car and I scanned the vehicle, there is no trouble codes at all. There is no trouble codes whatsoever. I'll show you what the fix is. Um, obviously my vehicle was in an accident, has been repaired. Um, if you have the same problem, it could something else could be wrong with it, I don't know but in my case the vehicle was damaged in an accident and this is what happened alright so you can see what happened my traction light came on I went ahead and uh, hooked up my scan tool through OBD2 it's a launch you can find it on Amazon there's a lot of links in my videos we're gonna find uh, Nissan here and this is done all through Bluetooth okay and I'm gonna show you once I scan the whole entire vehicle all the systems in the vehicle it's not gonna find any trouble codes and I'll show you what the fix is this is very nice scan tool it's inexpensive and it's pretty much doing anything so I'm gonna go ahead and do health report so this here is gonna scan all the systems and uh, if there's a trouble code, it give me, it will say fault. Just like right now, it says okay, okay. All the systems are checking out to be okay. Because this had my head spinning, and I figured it out. So I want to share with you. It might be good help for somebody or for a body shop. Because we always work with vehicles that have been wrecked. It has wiring issues a lot of times. There's wires that have been crimped in an accident or even cut or busted. But in this case, all the wiring is in perfectly fine shape. The vehicle wasn't even damaged up front. But that's what alarmed me. So while that's doing, I'm going to show you right here. So here is the fix, okay? If you take this cover off on a driver's side dash, there's a, there's a whole bunch of fuses right here, okay? And uh, this is the cover that explains you where all the fuses and are and what the fuse, fuses mean. Okay, so as you can see, there's a 10 amp fuse, and I'm going to use my finger to point it out. All right, it's 10 amp. It's called BCM, okay? In my case, this fuse was blown, okay? I pulled it out. It's right here. It's in my hand and this fuse is located right here as a matter of fact it's missing right now I haven't put it back in but I just wanna show you that there won't be any trouble codes in the system and it's very difficult to figure out a problem if there's no trouble codes the light is on and I am already at 41 percent and it's still scanning all the systems The fuse that I have in my hand, it's a good fuse right now, but I just, uh, I don't have it there. Just to show you that uh, the computer is not going to pick it up. So I'll go ahead and replace it with a good fuse, and then I'll start the vehicle and show you that the light will go off. I'm going to pause it for a minute. I'll wait till it's 100%, and then I'll get the camera going again okay as you can see uh, it had scanned all the systems and it's up to 100 percent I'm gonna go ahead and scroll as you can see all the systems are showing me they are okay including body control module it says that it's okay I'm gonna scroll through all the systems there you go all the systems systems showing me they're okay now I'm gonna go ahead and replace the fuse and I'm gonna turn the car off and turn it back on and you will see the light will not reappear um, 
a lot of times there's people at auction they pull out fuses in fuse boxes and that will be the case so watch this I'm gonna turn it off I'm gonna grab that fuse I have it in a cup holder right here I'm gonna put it back in here so that is that fuse right there Then amp. I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. See, it came on. It went off. My airbag light gonna go off in a second. Perfect. As you can see, it's not coming back on. So, like I said, that could have your head spinning if. Uh, even with the scan tool, because a lot of times if there's a fault in the system, you just take a scan tool, you connect to the vehicle, and it give you a clue where to look for a problem. But right here, as you could see, all the system's okay, and the light was on. Uh, as you could see again, there's only the only light that's on the dash is my seatbelt buckle. Uh, so that's it for this video. This was George with Melnix Automotive. Thank you for watching.